Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for tuning in to Punjabi Reefer. On uh, today's episode, I'm kind of going over what I feed the tank and how much of I feed it. A lot of people feed different things. I'm kind of going to share with y'all what I feed the tank in particular. Uh, some of this stuff I found online, some of this stuff I found from other local reefers. So I'm kind of just going to share with y'all what it is and why I feed certain things. Actually guys, before we get going, I want to give a shout out to two channels. Uh, one, Psychedelic Babe. She actually gave me a shout out about a week ago. She has a fantastic channel. Please go check it out. Uh, her reef is awesome. Uh, the other guy is uh, CJ's Aquarium. That guy has an amazing setup. He's been through his ups and downs and you kind of go through it and you you know he shares a lot of knowledge with you and things you should avoid and things you would maybe want to keep. But check out that guy as well, man. He Shout out to him. He's, he's helped me a lot through this whole this whole reef in, uh, experience of mine. So go check those out if y'all get a, get a chance here and there. Um, but let's move forward, guys. So the first thing I actually feed my tank is reef roids. Um, some of y'all may have heard this. This is actually a product uh, I actually saw some local reefers use and actually saw, saw it online as well. So far, it's actually been doing pretty well for my tank. Um, it helps a lot of the corals, a lot of the inverts. So I am very pleased with that product. Uh, the next thing I actually feel, feed is krill. I feed krill to my anemone. Um, that's the only thing I really feed this to. I feed my anemone about once every three days. I, I don't want to uh, feed it too much and get it to split too many times. That's not something I want in my tank. Um, and the last thing I feed is brine shrimp. And this is what I feed to my fish, my two clownfish and my two chromis and the fire shrimp down there. Uh, the reason why I feed this uh, is just very generic food. Everybody seems to like it in the tank. And I know y'all heard me say two clownfish. I actually had to remove one of my clownfish into my smaller tank. Um, one of them was actually starting getting, started to get bullied. And I told y'all to keep an eye on it and I don't want to lose any fish. So I had to move it to the small tank. Um, so I'm going to actually show you how I feed everything. All right, so stay tuned. All right, so I usually get half of a water bottle. I cut this a while back. So I just fill it up um, with some tank water. That way the water is the same as the tank and same temperature. Uh, from there, I usually add the brine shrimp, the krill directly to this water, uh, stir it up, just have it all there. And then the last thing I add is usually the reefroids. Um, I really don't measure this out. I probably should, but I don't. So I usually just add like a good measurement to my eye and add that. And as soon as I'm done, I usually turn off the wave maker. That way food isn't flying everywhere in the tank. After having everything mixed up, I usually just pour it slowly into the tank. Um, the main reason I really do this is because I don't want a lot of food to get on the floor and just be everywhere throughout the tanks and random cracks and crevices. So I, I just really pour a few amounts at a time making sure it doesn't get too much into the bottom because like I said m the more food the more your nitrates rise the more algae you have so I really try to avoid all of that kind of stuff so the last thing that I do to the tank is take a piece of krill after it's done being frozen and add it directly to the tentacle of the anemone it's not a hard process the anemone usually closes down pretty quick on it and that's that uh, thank you for tuning in, guys. Uh, stay tuned to more videos. Uh, please like, share, and comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. <laughs>